Hey guys, what's going on? Brace yourself today for a bunch of misreadings and mispronunciations of this playthrough. Today we learn Papishan is a Sultan Sworn. We see the Asians for the first time, and we're invited to a banquet? Let's check it out. We finally make our way over to Horizon, where we are tasked with delivering a missive to Leofric at Lost Hope. The bandits there are robbing people in Lost Hope, and we're tasked with defeating their leader. Oh shoot, this guy. Ooh, it's done. Right? What is it like? Is it like, are there like raid frames and stuff too that you gotta worry about? I assume there are. I got dead. Baron Von Quiverin III, Esquire. <laughs> After assisting Leofric, he gives us a dagger to take back and give to Fufalupa. However, we do not know or understand the implications of this dagger just yet. Thank you for delivering a letter for me. You're very welcome. Here's this for you. But why do you have that dagger? Only Captain of the Brass Blades of the Rose is permitted to possess it. Captain Leofric says I am to have it? There must be some mistake. You couldn't possibly mean to tell me that. No, 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 of course not. I'm not worthy to wield it. Nevertheless, I shall respect the captain's wishes and take the dagger into safekeeping until he comes to reclaim it. After basically being told that he deserves to be captain, Fufalufa sends us on a journey of protecting patrons where he fears that his very own captain, Captain Baldwin, did not send enough men. We speak with one of these patrons in town, and this is what they have to say. Alright, Merilda. You're an adventurer, are you not? I know this is sudden, but I have no one else to turn to. Last night, a gang of bandits from Quiveron Mance were in their cups, and I overheard them discussing their plans. It seems they've, they've come to collect gemstones stolen from Copper Bell Mines. Na Nashashite, I think I heard one of them say. They are to meet with their co-conspirators soon at the footfalls. W what did you say? Fufalupa? Hi, Fufalupa. Illicit exchanges and shadowy dealings? The brass blades cannot abide by such... Malfians. Forgive my eavesdropping, kills, or I came to Crescent Cove merely to thank you in person. I never imagined I'd uncover a criminal conspiracy right outside Horizon's gates. We must act quickly if we are to apprehend these thieves. I will notify Captain Baldwin at once. I'm just picturing him, like, shouting and screaming and just like, Ugh. <laughs> You know what? You mustn't- Oh, gods. You must stop him before it's too late. Captain Baldwin himself is- Oh, no. Baldwin is working with the bandits? Well, as you can imagine, we run to catch Fufalupa, we bump into Captain Baldwin. <laughs> I'm way behind. Captain Baldwin, sir, I've discovered something shocking, something horrible, not Chalupa. Good morning, Obsidian, how are you? Someone has been stealing gemstones from Comper Bell Mines and... Wait, those gauntlets? Those boots? Wait, you're one of Quiveron's men. Sir, that man is a thief and a scoundrel. And? What of it? His coin's good, and that's what counts. No, Alec Baldwin's bad. What? Captain Baldwin, are you working with these men? It cannot be. I told you to stay in Horizon, Fufalupa. It didn't have to be like this. They'd get their Nash... Nan, Nashite. I'd get my gill, and none would be the wiser. But, 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 sir, what if your crimes are uncovered? What if Lord Lolorito finds out? You god scummed fool. Don't you see? I am acting under the authority of Lord Lolorito himself. N no, that can't, this can't be true. Oh, poor Chalupa, he's so sad. Why do you think people join the Brass Blades, Fufu Fufalupa, to serve and protect? <laughs> We're not the bloody flames here. We do this for the coin. You there, adventurer, do you remember me? Well, I remember you. Oh, this guy. I whooped this guy's butt. I'm Sir Baron Von Quiverin the Fourth Esquire. You killed my brother, and now I'm going to return the flavor. What is that? What is that movie? You killed my father. Is it Princess Diaries? Chalupa and Dorito, hmm? Well, that settles it. It's clearly in everyone's best interest that both of you die. All right, Alec Baldwin, let's freaking do this, homie. I'm ready. Again, another rather uneventful fight where we just whoop the bad guys and come out triumphant as heroes of Yorzia. That's enough, Baldwin. Get him, Leo Frick. Your partner is dead and your plans are undone. You've no reason left to fight. Stay out of this, Leo Frick. I don't take orders from you. I may have spared your life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will he show you, I wonder? You who have done so much in another man's name. What are you blathering about? 
Every fisherman in Crescent Cove knew about your meeting, you arrogant fool. Quiverin's men couldn't keep their mouths shut. Imagine Lord Lolorito's surprise when he learned that a rank-and-file brass blade was using his name to advance a personal agenda. He knows Seven Hells, but I'm a captain. He wouldn't... I was once a captain, too, remember? And we both know what happened to me. Well fought, boy. You've done the brass blades of the Rose proud. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to the other kid. Damn it. Lilfric sounds like an insult. It kind of does, doesn't it? Captain Lilfric, Captain Baldwin, he, he said that Lord Lolorito... Well, little Rito wouldn't waste his time on a small-scale smuggling operation. This is all Baldwin's doing. What else did he say? That all our brethren are no better and that each and every one cares for naught but coin? Ha! <laughs> Make excuses to justify his schemes. Aye, we've no short shortage of greedy sods. Some who probably sell their own mothers into slavery if the price was right. But there, but then, but there are men like you, Fufalupa. Men good and true whom the small folk respect. Which is why I gave you the dagger. The brass blades of the rose need a leader with honor, and you're the most honorable man I know. Oh, he's crying. Oh, that was really nice. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Killzor. The captain and I will escort Captain Baldwin back to the horizon. Pray visit me in town when next you return. Okay. I will, Chulupa. Fufalupa is now the acting captain while Captain Baldwin is being investigated. When the previous captain's belongings were investigated, they ended up finding a letter to an Owen, who is apparently a Sultan Sworn of Ulda. Is there collusion here between this captain and the Sultan Sworn? Matters not, we just see my favorite person when there's a problem in Ulda. Hi, Modi. Hey, give me go. Ah, Kilzer, it's been too long. Dad -da 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 Nen tells me you've been keeping busy in Horizon. I want you to know that I'm grateful for everything you've done for the people of Ulda. Even though you've seen the senior side of our city, you continue to help your fellow men. Believe me, the folk around here love you for it. Hmm? What is it? You look like you've got something to say. I have this letter for you, Modi. So that's what this is all about. Fufalupa's thinking Owen might have been in league with Baldwin. That's that this letter could be proof of something shady. Well, he needn't ner he needn't worry. Owen's as loyal as Sultan's worth as I've ever known. I have the foggiest what this says, but is she reading it? Wait a minute, wasn't Owen the one who? Oh hell's! I've got a bad feeling about this. Listen, Killzor. I think I know what this is all about, but I need you to swear to keep it quiet. If you'd rather wash your hands of this business, I won't hold it against you. But if you're determined to see it through to the bitter end, say the word and I'll explain. Hey guys, if you guys have watched this far, thank you so much for being here. If you're enjoying the video, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out a ton. It pushes it out to so many more people. Continue to enjoy the video. The outside world believes Ulda to be a uh, sultanate ruled by Sultana Nanamo Ul Namo. Truth is, though, it's the six wealthiest citizens that hold the most sway, the syndicate. Be that as it may, the Sultana still got the support of the people. Na na mo, na na mo. Be that as it may, the Sultana's still got the support of the people. Na na mo. But she might struggle to keep even that if a certain incident becomes public knowledge. It pains me to say it, but her grace's crown, the symbol of the royal dynasty, has been stolen. And Owen, Owen's the Sultan Worth, who was charged with the gar with guarding it that night. I'd bet anything this letter was written by the bastards who made off with the crown. It can't be a coincidence that a man we know to have been fraternizing with thieves had a letter for Owen of all people at this of all times. You need to take this to the man himself, Kilzor. Tell him what he sent you and that it concerns a lost heirloom. Okay. If it looks as though the fellow needs help, I want you to lend it to him. The future of our fair city may depend on it. Okay. Anything for you, Mamodi. She's adorable. Of course, Mamodi was wonderful in assisting us with where we needed to go next. However, it's not what you're thinking. Hi, Owen. I just tried to save the game. Nobody can say anything. Well, Met Adventure, what business brings you here this day? A letter? Very well, let's see it. Here you go. It's accusing you of awful crimes against humanity. Have you read this adventure? <laughs> mm -mm. I see, but you have some inkling as to its contents, I think. Mistress Modi has doubtless explained to you the significance of the crown, and what its loss could mean for her grace, the Sultana. This theft shames the Sultan's worth, and me most of all. The blame is mine, you see. I grew lax in my duties, and in a moment of carelessness, 
No, it will do no good to recount the tale now. Since the hour of the theft, we've searched frantically for any signs, any whispers as to the whereabouts of the crown. We found nothing. The identity of the thieves and their motives seemed fated to remain a mystery until you arrived, bearing this ransom note. In it, the criminals stated their price for the return of Her Grace's crown. And though it pains me to say it, I fear I have no choice but to ac acquiesce to their demands. Too much is at stake to do otherwise. The crown symbolizes Her Grace's birthright and identifies her as the custodian of the... Is it UI or is it like we legacy? Of the UI we legacy, it must be recovered. I will travel to the unholy air and pay them their ransom. Though I am not foolish enough to meet these men alone as they stipulate, I dare not bring a host of comrades lest the thieves take fright. Friend, would you consent to be present for the exchange? Mistress Ramodi has always spoken of you in the most glowing terms, and I have never yet had reason to question her judgment. On behalf of all those loyal to the Sultan, I beseech you, help us in our hour of need. No. No. I refuse. My immediate first thought is... Wow, this quest is taking a turn I did not expect. We travel back to the Blackbrush Station, where we are to meet with Owen and confront the thieves of the crown. However, much like speaking with Owen, it is not what we think it is. Alright, Owen, I'm here. Ugh, I've come as agreed. Now show me the crown. Ah, you'll have your precious crown once we've been duly compensated. Do you think me a fool? What assurance have I that you will honor your part of the agreement? Now, now, Owen. Am I saying his name right? Owen? I assume it's Owen, right? Owen? Owen? Maybe it's Owen because of the E at the end? You're the least trust trustworthy man here. Not only was the crown stolen on your watch, but it looks to me as if you violated the terms of our exchange. Did we not say that you were to come alone? And given that you are not alone, what guarantee have we that there isn't a company of archers surrounding us even as we speak? Ready to, fe ready to feather me and my men the moment they catch a glimpse of the crown? You've made mock of our trust. The deal is off. Wait, here's your payment, as promised. They're calling your bluff, homie. Aye, tis the real thing. Look at that smirk. A thousand thanks to you, boy. You've succeeded where scores of thieves have failed. And now, at long last, you have it. The power to create an army of undying soldiers. The traitor's spurn. What the frick does that mean? What? No, no, it can't be. What have I done? What? Surely you must have wondered what it was that you were handing over. What it was that seemed as valuable to us as the crown seemed to you. Or did you assume we were feeling charitable? But you must feel terrible knowing that you've brought us the doom of Sildi. Sildi. Worry not, boy. We'll grant you a quick death and spare you further ignominy. What the frick is happening? Don't worry, I got your back. There's too many kills to run. Run while you can. I, I will do my duty. It is your duty to serve the Sultana, lad. And you'll be doing it for a good while yet. Is that all this? Oh. Look at that guy's mustache. What? Oh, it's Papa Sean. Sultansworth. Sultan Sworn. Put these thieves to the sword and secure the crown. Hi, Papa Sean. Sullen Sworn, no matter, kill them all. Ready. Let's fight. Honestly, the idea of this fight is so cool, and it was so cool to see Papa Sean again. We end up fighting off the hordes of bandits and some blangers summoned, but what happens after is actually rather important. Check it out. Thanks for coming to the rescue, Papa Sean. Master Papa Sean, but why? How? The general saw you sneak into the vault, Owen. Suspected something was afoot and ordered us to keep an eye on you. The flame general? He ordered you to look after me? Master Papa Sean, more of them to the north. After them, Sultan Sworn, they have the crown. This lot sought only to delay us. Let us speak again, back in the city. Okay. Go get him, Papa Sean. I'm just gonna stand here and do nothing, I guess. Oh, hello. The source of his strength becomes clear. <laughs> Where's that face I just made? <laughs> you may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. Uh, hello? 
O oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I may smite mine enemies. What's happening? What is this thing? Your very being imper imperils the plan. You cannot be s suffered to live. What is this thing? What the frick? This fight is similar to the Golem fight where I push my three button rotation and we just kick some freaking major butt. Thancred eventually shows up after we defeat the Golem and he helps me take down the masked man. <coughs> that the wisdom of the Paragons should be brought low by mere mortals. The wisdom of the Paragon. Thancred, what's going on here? <coughs> Paragons, this is indeed a disturbing revelation. We had long suspected the involvement of the bringers of chaos. Asians, to give them their true name. Asians? Did I say that right? Asians? Not Asians. Asians? But we could not be sure they were responsible for the recent disturbances until now. As if the Sultanite, Sult Sultanate needed any more enemies. Hey. <laughs> Hmm. Have we Charlanes crossed paths with Asians before? Well, we certainly wait. I don't recall telling you about my homeland. Ah, yes, that's right. You're one of the gifted. You know, this marks the third time I found you in the midst of trouble. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a lotus stone for it. It's true. I just draw it to me. Anyway, I'm glad I started following you around. Who knows what grand conspiracy you'll stumble upon next? I jest, I jest. But I'd truly been watching your every move. I wouldn't have taken so long to intervene in your latest altercation. But all's well that ends well, eh? Our mass friends is no more, and while I very well and while I very much doubt we've seen the last of his kind, his demise will likely grant us at least some respite. And on the note, I must away. Until next time, Kilsman. Ooh, another gem. We get to do another fever dream. Go to sleep in the water. Hopefully we don't drown, but we're pretty small. Because we did collect all these gems, right? <clears throat> For some purpose. There's there's so much information being taken in right now about the Asians. Now, unfortunately, we don't have time to process it. We have to make our way back to speak with Owen and Papa Sean. We can wrap up this quest and hopefully hear that they recovered the crown. Everyone's waiting for you, I'm sure. Yes. Hi, Papa Sean. Ooh, we got a new ring. Sweet. Does it surprise you to see me dress so, Kilzer? I was once a Sultan Sworn, you know, though it's been 15 years since I put down my sword and took up the role of Station Master. It is a capacity in which I am no less proud to serve, lest you doubt. Whenever Her Grace ventures outside the gates, I have the honor of protecting her person. Never before had I seen had I seen her so despondent as when news of the crown's theft reached her ears. <clears throat> okay. But thanks to your valiant efforts, she's returned to her former vibrant self. You have the gratitude of every Sultan Swarm killer. You're welcome. Just make me a Sultan Swarm, pay me a bunch of money, and I'll be happy. Exalted vessel of Northal, guardian of Thanalan, 17th ascendant to the throne of Uldar. Her Royal Majesty, Nanamo Ulnamo, presides. Ulnamo, okay. Hi. Long live Nanamo! Long live Nanamo! Glory to the Sultana! Glory to the Sultana! Forever may she Forever reign! Forever may she reign! Hi. They She's... regaled me with tales of a champion amongst champions, ones whose tireless service to the crown merited the highest honor we might bestow. Nanamo Ulnamo, right? That's how you say her name? Hi. Never did it occur to me that it might be you. Bring it forth! What are we bringing forth? A sword? A ring? A crown? Thanks. Betokening our gratitude and esteem, I, Nanamo Ulnamo, Sultana of Ulda, confer upon you this gift. Raban? Raban? Your grace. C 
See to it that our <clears throat> champion is my personal guest at the banquet. Okay. As you command, your grace. That guy's scary. If what they say is true, Ulda owes you a great debt. Ulda. I am Rauban al Din. With the consent of her grace, I oversee the affairs of the Sultanate. Brave souls are few and far between in these times. I count my blessings when I find one. Rauban, he's cool. Rauban is my dad. <laughs> her grace invites you to join her at the coming banquet. I trust I will see you there. I feel like he's like, he's like, she's inviting you, so you better be there. Or I will find you, break your kneecaps, and make you be there. <laughs> An honor, sir. Indeed. Come, hero. Until then. Bye. For the sake of her grace and the glory of the Sultanate, may you walk in the light of the crystal. He is cool. He's very stoic. By the 12, kills her for an adventure to receive a personal invitation from her grace is unprecedented. Seats at these banquets are offered only to the most distinguished individuals. You'll be dining with some of the most influential people in Ulda. There are, of course, certain protocols that must be observed, but I am no I am, but I am no authority on them. Fear not, however. Mistress Mamodi has long been responsible for familiarizing foreign guests with our customers. Pray return to the quicksand and speak with her. She will tell you all you need to know. Okay. Good old Mamodi. I love Mamodi. She's great. She's a all right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming and spending this time with me to go through this story. I know it feels like a lot of fluff, but almost everything in the story so far is super, super important and later begins to kind of get rolled out slowly over time. I'll catch you guys in the next one when we decide to go on this banquet where a ton of crazy things happen. Thanks again. I'll catch you guys in the next one.